me 10 years ago. And in this world record race at the London Olympic Games, I ran a personal best of 142.95. This is still the fifth fastest time ever by an American. And this is me today. 10 years later, 40 pounds heavier. I'm the strongest I've ever been in my life. And I'm about to enter my very first powerlifting competition. The sport of powerlifting is made up of three lifts max back squat, max bench press, and of course, max deadlift. Now, the last time I tried this, I was able to lift a cumulative total of a thousand pounds. In today's competition, I have two goals, to PR in every event and to lift a cumulative total of 1,100 pounds. When I showed up at the Expo Center, the first thing I saw was a bunch of bodybuilders. And I was just hoping that they weren't in my competition and that I didn't have to lift naked on stage. Next, I had to clear all of my equipment with the meet officials, including my apparel. Unbeknownst to me, at a powerlifting competition, you have to lift in something called a singlet, which I did not have. Fortunately, one of the meet officials had a singlet from 1955 and it fit me perfectly. Now I had entered into the 90 kilo weight class. This is 198 pounds. I weighed in at 195 pounds and was able to just make weight. Now I keep talking about how much I've been bulking and it was really hard to do, but I did have help. My friends over at First Form sent me the perfect post-workout stack, and I was taking this shake after every single workout. I've linked all of the ingredients to this post-workout stack in the description below. Being the big bison that I am, I was so looking forward to the back squat, and it is the first lift. Now, you get three attempts at each lift, so the best strategy is to lowball your first attempt to make sure you get on the board. You can go up and wait, you cannot come back down. The meet officials finally call my name and I'm able to take my first attempt at 155 kilos. That's about 341 pounds. In official powerlifting competitions, there are three referees calling commands and they're checking for squat depth and correct form. I hit the squat, I get the signal for three white lights, Boom! I'm on the board with a successful squat. Now I moved at 155 kilos really fast, so I know I can go a lot higher, but I'm only gonna jump to 160 kilos or 352 pounds because that would still be a huge new personal best. They call me up to the platform. I get my cues. And boom, another successful lift, three white lights, and I'm on to the third and final lift. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I have no idea where to go from here. Fortunately, I've made a new friend, Coach Rick. He's gonna help guide me through the rest of this competition. Coach Rick, this guy, look at this guy. Fittest 52 year old on planet Earth. You used to follow my running career. Oh my God, my hero. Now he's helping me through this competition. Thank God, I had no idea what I was doing back there. I, I felt good at 352 or 160 kilos. Yep. And I said, I said, let's go for it. 165. So 165 kilos, what's that in pounds? 363, attack. attack. <laughs> I gotta go for it. You gotta attack. Okay, thanks coach. Yeah, man. Let's do this. I am so grateful for Coach Rick's advice and after consulting with him, we decided to go big, 165 kilos, which is 363 pounds. This would be a massive, massive personal best for me. And I gotta be honest, I'm nervous as I step up to the rack. I take a deep breath, wait for my command, super slow bar speed, but I do manage to stand it up. The main ref gives me the command and I take a step forward to rack the weights, but no, they've given me two red lights. This lift has been disqualified, how can this be? Let's go back and watch the instant replay. Now I stand up and lock out and I see the head official wave her hand. The minute she moves her hand, I take a step forward to rack. Now of course, this is my first official powerlifting competition, so I need your advice. All my powerlifting experts out there, was that a fair lift? Did I wait for her command or did I step early? I think it was a fair lift. I want to know what you think. Oh, come on. I'm counting that as a PR, even though it doesn't count because I didn't wait for the command to re-rack. Well, coach, what was that? Poundage. 
363 pounds. 363 pounds. Counts for me, doesn't count in competition. Counts for me too. All right. I am pissed. But there's nothing more lethal than an angry bison. And next up, it's my most improved event, the bench press. Today, for my first attempt, I'm swinging for the fences, 253 pounds, that's 115 kilos. The meat officials call my name. I get into position and I wait for my commands. I am not about to let the refs disqualify another lift. First attempt feels great. Three white lights and I'm on the board at 115 kilos. Second attempt, we decide to go for 120 kilos. That's 265 pounds. This again would be a huge personal best from where I was at. My first attempt came in so easy. I'm not afraid to make the five kilo jump. Let's see what I've got in the tank. Second attempt feels a little bit harder, but I'm still able to lock it out. Boom, 120 kilos on the board. I'm gonna play it a little conservative on this one. I go 122.5 kilos, which is about 270, 270 pounds. So I just take a 2.5 kilo jump. No matter what, I know I've already secured a new PR today. So I'm playing with house money at this point. Three white lights, another successful attempt. With that 270 pound bench, I'm now sitting in third place with a combined total of 623 pounds. But we have one big event left. And finally, the deadlift. My favorite movement of them all, I will full send this as hard as I can. The only rule is I have to lock out the weight and control it back to the floor. For my first attempt, I will try to hit 195 kilos. That's 429 pounds. I should be able to move this weight with relative ease. Let's see. Stand it up and boom, three white lights. That is a successful lift at 195 kilos. For my second attempt, we decide to take a big jump up to 200 kilos. That is over my personal best of 440 pounds. Knowing that I could potentially set a new personal best has adrenaline pumping through my veins. And as I grab the bar, I begin to move it, but the bar is moving slowly and stand it up, Bison, let's go. Boom, I've done it, 200 kilos, a new personal best deadlift. Boom, so that was 200 kilos, which is what in pounds? One pound personal best, but I want more. Where are we going from here? I think you got five kilos in you. Yeah, where we want to make sure we get the points on the board. 205 kilos, what's that in pounds? So we're adding another 11, so you're 452. 452 coming at you. Final lift of the day, and I really, really want to prove to you guys that a 500 pound deadlift is possible. And while I'm not quite ready for it today, I do believe I'm ready to lift 205 kilograms. That would be 451 pounds. As I step up to the bar, I think to myself, leave it all on the track, Bison. Give everything you've got on this final lift. I'm reminded of all the great coaches I've had, including the coach that helped me over these last eight weeks, Coach Justin Ahrens. He's the one that created this eight-week powerlifting program for me. This program works, and I have created digital copies that you can download anywhere in the world. You can also buy hand autograph copies. They're both available at nicksimmons.com. Now back to the final lift of the day, and all I can think about is the beer and steak waiting for me if I can lift this 451 pound bar. The weight comes tight and I stand it up even smoother than my last attempt. Boom, three white lights, a 451 pound deadlift to close out this competition. Here's a look at the final standings in my weight division. And while I wasn't able to get 1,100 pounds, I was able to score 1,075 pounds, 75 pounds more than when I tried this last time. And I'm proud to say this was good enough for bronze medal. We brought that hardware home. But I know I left something out there on the table. I truly believe I can lift even heavier. So next week on my other channel, Nick Simmons 2, I will try all three of these lifts again back at the Run Gum Gym to see if I can put up even bigger numbers. You don't want to miss that video. Make sure you're subscribed to both channels. See you next week.